Well, due to the pandemic, schools had to change the way they keep their students and staff safe, and not all districts are requiring masks. Some are optional. Joining me now is Principal Dirk Ribbons from Meshwabanan High School. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, good morning, Shelley. Good to be here this morning. Um, and of course, Welcome to anybody else, especially I'd like to say good morning to any Ashwaubenon Jaguars. <laughs> what will the Ashwaubenon School District school year look like this year compared to last year, in person, virtual, or mixed, or what? We will begin this week, uh, two days from now, in person. Is, is there a virtual option available for students who want to stay home? There is. There has been a, a, a virtual option for, for students, yes. What kind of virtual options is it through the school district? Um, it's through it's through another program. It's an online program okay. that that they had the opportunity to sign up for and do their learning over the computer. Okay. What is the masking policy in the Ashwaubenon School District? Um, the masking policy is, of course, we are we are recommending it, um, and and it is highly recommended for anyone non vaccinated, but it is optional for for all. Is there a chance that could change if the pandemic gets worse? Of course. I mean, we're going to follow the uh, science. We're going to follow the policy uh, recommendations of health officials. We're going to follow any mandates that come our way. So, yes, that could change. And what are you doing to keep kids safe there from during this pandemic? <clears throat> Um, we're doing a number of things. You know, there will be hand sanitizing stations around buildings. You know, students are, are uh, you know, will have opportunity to do that. There will be cleaning things in classrooms that teachers and students use. Um, we're being careful about things like field trips and visitors and, and minimizing some of that kind of contamination and, and issues. Um, and probably most importantly, we're working tirelessly with local health officials, community to to monitor trends, see what's going on, you know, continue to make decisions that are best for the learning of kids. All right, thank you for joining us so much, Principal Dirk Ribbons from Ashwaubenon High School. Good luck on the start of the school year. You bet. It's been great to talk to you. Take care. You too. COVID-19 has changed many things in our daily lives, including back to school. It all looks much different this year. Caitlin Corbett shows us the five things you need to know about masking in schools. To mask or not to mask, this is the choice many schools have to make before welcoming students back into their hallways. Here's a look at how five districts are managing their masking now that school's in. When packing school supplies for the first day back, you'll want to know whether or not to pack a mask, and every district is handling mask mandates differently. The Green Bay Area Public School District voted unanimously to require masks for all students when heading back to school. The same goes for the Appleton School District, which reversed its decision just last week, as well as the management Walk School District. Meanwhile, Fond du Lac and the Unified School District of De Pere have decided that masks will remain optional for students and staff. The Menasha School District has taken a bit more of a blended approach, making masks mandatory for pre-K through 6th grade, but optional for grades 7 through 12. For a full list of school districts and their mask 